going on you guys? Erica Brain finally coming back with another video. So yeah, it's been a little minute, but we back. Today's topic is how to survive boot camp. We don't do boot camp. <laughs> Today's topic is how to survive basic training. And who better to ask how to survive basic training than a senior drill sergeant. Senior drill sergeant Bernardo. Yay! Oh, my unit. It's okay, I can, I can blur it out. People ask all the time. I know, it's great. Your business! In a serious manner, who better to ask than someone that actually has gone to basic training, not only once but twice, one as a regular private, another person as a E5 a sergeant becoming a drill sergeant, and someone that was on the trail, which is being a drill sergeant for about two and a half years. Let's go. So I'm gonna give you 10 tips on how to make sure you survive basic training. Tip number one is to already start running before you go to basic training. It doesn't mean that if you haven't ran or just suck at running that you're going to fail. It doesn't mean that at all, but it actually just makes your time at basic training a little bit easier because if you ask anyone that has gone through basic training, the majority of the time you're running from point A to point B. And PT, the most struggle you're going to have is during the run days. So if you want it to be a little bit easier, at least start running and at least try to get your fitness up there. And it'll make basic training 10 times easier. Before I get ready for work, is to actually have your game face on. Meaning, don't really show emotion and don't show that you're a wimp. Essentially, it, it, it really is that. Just not really showing your emotion and not saying that you have to be your robot because that's not what the army is. You want to have that tough exterior especially when you're going through certain things because drill sergeants are there to break you down and build you back up so whenever they see someone kind of breaking down and all that we kind of help that little breakthrough in order to build them up it's better to just drive on and know that this is just all just business and there's no really big emotions in it and drill sergeants are there to make sure that you pass Whoa. Whoa. A mosquito. Hey, get it. Mosquito. It's a mosquito it's mm -hmm. me Elka, um, and I'm your host for today's vlog. What are you doing, sir? Do I have to stay on post all the time? Can I not leave? Is it like Call of Duty? Becky like Call of Duty, Becky. Tell him how you go over there and you rat da da da. Face. Here's actually the real information that you guys want to know. Make sure you check your attitude and within saying that, I know people will be like, obviously, like we know drill sergeants are there for um, to train you and all that stuff. But there's a lot of instances where people have that pride in their way and they're like, who is this person talking to me like this? Like, you don't know who I am. You don't know what I've been through. We got it. We've been through training. We understand everything. And honestly, every single cycle I've been through, there's been the exact same person. May not look the exact same, but have the same story story or have that same attitude have that same thing right every drill sergeant will say oh you are like that trainee from before or whatever it is check your attitude and realize like the other um point that i made before drill sergeants there are to instruct and train you time to go to work see you guys later bye see you later is to also take care of your battle buddy. So boot camp is a team sport and a lot of people think, okay, myself, 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 but you're learned as a trainee to always have your battle buddy with you. So that means taking care of them as well. That if Even if that means your bunk mate is your battle buddy or your best friend's your battle buddy or someone you don't like is your battle buddy, basic training is a team sport, treat it like so. And the way you're gonna survive is having your battle buddies with you. And um, cause there are gonna be things that you're gonna have difficulties with. And if you have your battle buddy that understands it or that will be able to help you with it, like land nav or, um, or PT and all that stuff, that's what helped me. So remember that basic training is a team sport Support and to always have your battle buddies back because they might need your help one day and you might need their help as well. Hi, Henry. I gave someone a Red Bull. Who? I don't know. <laughs> just a random person? Yeah, he's like, are you selling that? I'm like, yeah, here. <laughs> it's just a video. <laughs> oh, very, very low. Here we are, out here at baby's work. If you hear the megaphone. I do. That's, um, sorry. Badass cat. Who's it? <laughs> You 
know what's great about this? These just out of warranty. Oh my god. Tell me what's happening. We're checking the warrior right now. Sad, sad little 5k. That's a shame. I love these things. We found the problem. What's the problem? We fixed it. We fixed it. <laughs> it wasn't. That's what we had it here. I'm trying to turn one off. The wife's in Oh, boy. We did it. Hey, you did it. Yeah. Wow. Get what he knows. See? That's what he did. On TikTok. Uh, I don't want to say it. Say Glow 2020. Okay. I don't have to. <laughs> what my NCOs tell me? You better go. Right. What are they telling me? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> this is Sarn Incarnation, right? When you see him in the next couple of years, right, he have a drill sergeant badge, aerosol, airborne, MSM. MSM. <laughs> right? not cool and then, right, I expect him to be like a motor sergeant, first sergeant, and then, right, <laughs> Ranger. If you don't go Ranger, gain shit. That's it. <laughs> How to survive base You can call Do what you're told. when they're going to come down here. Yeah. Eat. I'm going to check with Eat when they tell you. Uh, hide uh, stuff in your... <laughs> no, don't do that. <laughs> hide stuff in your camelback. <laughs> no, nah, don't do that. Uh, follow what the drill sergeant say. That's it. You cannot go been, wrong if you just follow uh, what the drill sergeant say. Listen to something. <laughs> drill sergeant will be there. She's going to leave there. That's what I do. That's the scariest thing I have seen in my military career. So. The pumpkin? <laughs> Yeah. It should be. In fact, when I first didn't know that you were coming here, your, one of your videos popped up and I had to turn down the volume because <laughs> it was so loud. <laughs> and my Just wife got scared. <laughs> my son started getting crying. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Not what I need you to do. Tip number six. Basic training doesn't last forever. Um, once you leave there, you can have your own regular life. Do whatever you want. Not whatever you want, but... Um, live your life how you want to live it. Just keep your head up and it's only three months. It's just like another career outside of basic training. It's not 24 hours, you're staring in the barracks, all that. You have a life outside. So remember basic training, you have one goal and it's to graduate. Nah, nah. Go <laughs> pre-workout. Go set That's like that. the quickest only inventory. The I was about to say, that was the quickest. Yeah, because we usually lay it out, inventory it, and she'll come by and bring The back. only pre-workout senior drill. Ghost. Sponsor. Okay. One day. I have to stand on the, on the left next to both of you. That's my baby. <laughs> I said, you want me to close it all the way? It's lunchtime. Should we go and get, for some reason, I don't know, people don't like it, but I love the commissary sushi. So we going to go eat commissary sushi. You okay with that? Remix. <laughs> you got the Type R. This is just Type R. Whoa! Oh. We don't want no problems, uh, Gas mask. You want, you want to sit in it? <laughs> <laughs> I want to be like you and grow up. Okay, so I just had lunch and then just dropped off Liz back to her work. But let's go on with another tip. Another thing is to know your benefits. If you're hurt, go to sick call. Medical is free. That's something like, that's our, our benefits. So a lot of people go to basic training and all of a sudden they're sick and they get injured or something hurts and they're scared to go to sick call and it gets worse and worse and worse. And all of a sudden you can't finish the forge, you can't finish the ruck or whatever it is because you didn't go to sick call. But there's a lot of times, especially in the army and in basic training, when you go to sick call, you have an athletic trainer and they're able to assist and help you and figure out what you can do before actually going to to the hospital and even when you go to the hospital they give you meds they give you things that you need to do stretches and all that to make sure that you get better so know your benefits if you're sick go to sickle and don't be afraid of it another thing is to run in packs and i know a lot of people might think why would i do that why would i go in a group or be with a group the reason why i'm telling you to run in a pack be in a group or whatever is that you don't want to be that person that tries to do the best tries to go out and be like oh it's just not lucky all right let me go hey Hey, you guys, you guys need to knock it off. Be quiet. Or, um, oh, his drills aren't looking. Oh, now I'm going to start running more. And now I'm going to do this. Realize, drill sergeants, we are drill sergeants. 
but we were NCOs before this. But even being a drill sergeant, we already know the person that is that wants to be that star, that wants the attention, that wants to be known. We know that, and we don't like that. So if you are good, if you're a high speed, you have knowledge, and you know a lot of things, help your battle buddies out. A good trainee overall, run in packs, help your battle buddies. And if you really are a good leader and you want to be one of the leaders, the PGs, the squad leaders, the team leaders, whatever it is, you'll be it if you're meant to be it and then don't take any, anything personal it was kind of like my other topics or tips before don't take anything personal we don't take anything personal so don't take the, don't take anything personal if we get mad whatever it is tell you to do x y and z go ahead do whatever you need to correct the training the next day is a new day don't take anything personal i'm telling you don't take anything personal don't be a loner this is basic training this is all different people from different places in the whole world that are different so go ahead and make friends, make your battle buddy your friend, and then don't be afraid to make sure you still write letters home to whoever's writing to you. Um, <clears throat> when I was in basic training, the only people that wrote to me was who I was with at the, at the time, and my family. My family wrote me so many letters, and I made sure I took the time out instead of just doing whatever in the barracks and just like <clears throat> not really paying attention, was taking the time and writing letters because you don't understand how much that it's just like a stress and then whenever you get letters it feels really nice so that's pretty much for the video um use my tips i was a drill sergeant i went through basic training i know the basic training game so if you have any questions comment down below or hit me up on instagram at eric or bernie but you guys you can do it believe that you can just play the game drink the kool-aid and you'll be fine good luck in basic training I got my head in the clouds, I don't wanna come down. I got one, two, three people.